Transitioning your child from a crib to a toddler bed can feel a little tricky, right? There's so many things to consider and it's such a huge change. So you might be wondering, okay, what age is best for them to make this big change? What other factors should I be thinking about right now? Um, and how to emotionally prepare my child, right? How do I set them up for success for such a huge change? Well, I'm Dr. Jasmine. Um, I'm a clinical psychologist as well as a mom of two. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing all of the things you need to know about how to successfully transition your child from a crib to a toddler bed. So let's discuss. Before we dive into the video, I have a special free gift for you, and that is my Positive Parenting Checklist Bundle. It is full of checklists on how to handle the most difficult moments like tantrums, aggression, not listening, how do we foster more patience as parents, and so much more. Um, so be sure you go to www.themompsychologist.com forward slash bundle. The link will all also be in the description box as well as the comment section. Again, it's completely free. You can download them, print them out, put them wherever you see fit, um, just for reminders along the way as you walk this positive parenting journey. All right, let's dive into the video. Okay, so first things first, let's dive into when should you, ideally speaking, transition your child from a crib to a toddler bed. So every child is different, of course, uh, but most experts recommend uh, anywhere between 18 months and 36 months. Um, and if you can, waiting closer to 36 months, right? Waiting closer to the age of three. And the reason for this is that it gives your child time to develop, mentally speaking, so that they can understand the concept of staying in their bed despite their newfound freedom, right? Because a lot of the times, especially if you try to do this too soon, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of other behavioral issues, if you will, because they just can't cognitively understand that they have to stay in their bed. So trying to wait as long as you can, as long as it is safe, of course, um, to, to, you know, where your child is closer to three. Now, some other things that are important to consider is if you have a new sibling on the way or if you have another big change coming up, like let's say a move or starting a new school or something like that, then ideally you don't overload your child with too much change all at once. So you give them a three month buffer. Um, uh, so three months before a new change, you don't add anything new. So let's say they're going to get a new sibling in August, right? So then May, June, July, uh, around that time, you don't add in the toddler bed. Maybe you add it before that time or you wait until three months after August to introduce the toddler bed. Now, of course, it's important to consider is your child safe in the crib? So if they're not safe in the crib, then of course, these <laughs> time frames will go out the window, right? Because safety comes first. Now, most manufacturers, um, crib manufacturers will have a weight limit of about 35 pounds so be sure you check with um, your specific crib manufacturer for the weight capacity because that'll be an important factor to consider um, especially if you're trying to wait until they are closer to 36 months just making sure that uh, their crib can substantially you know safely hold their weight um, another important thing to consider is have you tried other troubleshooting um, tips so uh, one tip would be to lower the mattress um, another tip would be to turn the crib around so most cribs they'll kind of dip lower at the front and so you can turn that around so that you know your child has the higher uh, higher end of it um, especially if you're worried about them climbing out another thing is to put them in um, special pajamas that prevent them from having a lot of movement in their uh, feet for them to climb out and of course get rid of furniture right by the crib so that they can't use that as leverage um, to get out of their crib so try those things out again um, so that you can ideally speaking you wait until your child is closer to three. Um, of course, if it's not safe and if they are um, over repeatedly getting out of their crib, then that might, yeah, that's a good indication that they're, they're ready to transition to the toddler bed. 
Okay, so when you have deemed your child ready to transition to a toddler bed, here are some things to help you along this transition because it is a big change, right? So ideally, uh, you give your child a week or two to mentally prepare for the big change. Now, this is, of course, as long as it's not a safety concern, um, but you can get them involved in picking out their bedding. Um, and even if you have to pick out a new bed, get them involved in that process. So, you know, narrow it down to two choices and let them pick uh, between the two. Of course, only giving them choices you're okay with as well, but that can get them mentally prepared as well as feeling a sense of agency and control over the process, get them excited and looking forward to it, um, and then spend some time just kind of conversating about what, you know, how their room is going to change and what that means, right? And that even though you're not going to have the bar up um, th th for the whole bed, you're still going going to stay in your bed when it is time to go to sleep. The other thing is you want to make sure if you haven't already that you have a really solid bedtime routine um, because that will come in handy as you are going through that change. It's always important to keep your routines consistent. Um, so make sure you have a really, really solid bedtime routine, which I will be talking about in the next video about some tips on smoother bedtime routines. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video. Um, another important thing to consider is to be very consistent in your bedtime routines and I'm actually going to talk about that in the next video um, especially just kind of anticipating that your child is going to test the limits a little bit especially in the beginning um, this is completely new they're not used to being able to walk around their room um, throughout you know after you leave so also be sure that the room is completely childproof you may consider bolting down the furniture to the wall, making sure the outlets are covered, um, making sure there's nothing dangerous or um, like strings on the blinds, um, anything that they can suffocate or potentially har seriously harm themselves with. You want to make sure that the, ch that the room is completely childproof because I want you to think of their room now as their whole crib. Um, another thing that really helped us in our journey from transitioning from crib to, tra to toddler bed was installing a door monkey which is kind of like a lock on the door. It still allows their, their door to be open about maybe two inches. Um, and the way that I presented it to my daughter was that this is to help remind you to stay in your room, right? It's really important that we stay in our room, that we stay in our bed and we go to sleep and we get our rest so that we can play and learn the next day. And this is just simply to remind you and you know as we go on we can get rid of it um but that's how i would present it it's a positive thing it's not punitive they're not in trouble um but that might be something that you might consider trying especially if your child is struggling with going in and out of their room after you transition them to a toddler bed so i hope the these tips were helpful let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions or any other experiences to share with the community about how it went for you for you transitioning from a crib to a toddler bed and again be on the lookout for next video about calming evening routines because I have a lot to share when it comes to that and I'll be breaking down kind of what we do and what works for us in our family um, and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share with some family and friends if you think that this video might be helpful for them and I will see you in the next one bye